What's up YouTube and welcome to another draw along with me. Today's tutorial is this really cool 3D text effect where we've got our text indented into the ground as well as a nice little cliff edge here. There is a palette and also a link to the font that I've used for this particular design in the description down below. If you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. So if you'd like some tutorials to follow along with, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons. If you'd like to join my Patreon, there's a link in the description down below where you can get access to two extra tutorials every single month that are exclusive to Patreon, as well as extra benefits on the Discord server, as well as access to our exclusive Facebook group. And with all that said, let's get started. So as always, let's create a new canvas. We're gonna hit the plus icon and my canvas is gonna be 2500 by 2500. And once we're into our canvas, we're gonna to wanna to first of all change the background color. And I've provided a blue palette in the description, but you by all means use a slightly different color if you'd like. But otherwise we're gonna use this color here, the first color on the first row. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out to our text color. So we're gonna use the second color on the second row. So first one on the second row. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our wrench. We're gonna go to our canvas and we're gonna turn on the drawing guide. And if we go to edit drawing guide, I can show you that mine is on the isometric setting here. So by default, it will be on the 2D grid, but you can switch it to the isometric grid like so. And then hit done. And we've got a nice grid now on our screen that'll allow us to line our text up nicely for this effect. So next I'm going to go to my wrench, I'm going to go to add, and I'm going to go to add text. And if I then put my pen down and I double tap on the text itself, I'll get all the different options for the text. And you want to change your font out to the pixel art one that I've put in the description down below. And once you've found your font that you like, you can go to your keyboard. And this works best if you put all the text in capital, so I'm going to tap on here and I'm gonna use the option of look down. I'm gonna put mine on two different rows as well. And now I've got my text done, I can switch back to my pencil and I can go to my cursor now. And we're gonna use the uniform option and just make that text nice and big until it fits with the majority of the screen. We'll probably scale it down in a second. And then we're gonna use the distort option now, and this is how we're gonna try and get the text here to work nicely within our grid. So the first thing we wanna do is get the bottom line of the text to match up to one of these lines here going from sort of bottom left up to the top right. So we simply grab this handle here, and then we can move our canvas around and our text. And we wanna make sure we try and, as I mentioned, to get that text to go in a straight line along one of the lines of the canvas. So I've just scaled mine to fit both along that line here, as well as we wanna try and make sure for in my example, the end of the N and the start of the D also fit perfectly in that gap as well. And then once you've done that, the next tool is to go and grab this node and then make it fall over basically on itself. So if I then fall, tip that over like that, and then drag that back into the canvas so I can see what we need to try and achieve is again, we've got the line here running along this line. If I line the corner up of the D down here, we just need to grab this handle and just continue to move it until we get our text running across this line here. We also need to make sure it runs across the line at the top, like so. So this the, the top of the text runs across this line, the side of the text runs across this one, the bottom runs across this line, and then the edge over here also runs across this line here. So we're fitting our text nicely into the grid provided. Now what you might have to do is just to make sure our squares stay nice and sort of square, we might have to drag the text out until we end up with more of a square in here rather than a rectangle. So something like that looks pretty good. And again, just making sure we follow the rules that the edges are all fitting within the lines. Only as a guide, just to make sure you get that sort of perspective look to it. So I think I can go a little bit further outwards. I'm gonna bring my text down again. And then continue just to drag that up until I'm happy that my text is looking nice and square. And the, tr the squares, for example, on my K, are nice and rather than rectangular. 
and I'm happy with my text as it is there. So I'm going to hit the cursor icon. I'm then going to go to my canvas under the wrench and turn off the drawing guide. As now we've got our text in position, we can now start to add in the nice 3D look to it. So we're going to go to our layers. We're going to create a new layer. I'm going to tap on that layer. And we're going to use the option of clipping mask, which will allow us to paint within the boundaries of the text, but without spilling over into the outside of it. And then let's go to our colors. Let's switch it out for our shadow color, which is the bottom color in the palette. And then we're going to go to our brush library. And under calligraphy, we're going to use our trusty monoline brush. And the brush size for this, for me, is about 2%. Because all we're going to use it for is nice vertical straight lines. So if you're new to Procreate, using the vertical option of the assisted lines will help nicely with this one. So let's zoom in on the L and I can show you what the sort of style is and then how you can apply it to potentially your text. Now the light's coming from this direction and so therefore anything that is facing sort of this way ends up shadowed. So inside this L now, we you always use the corners and we can draw on the screen and draw a straight line down. So I'm gonna start here, you can see the circle around my brush, which is my actual brush itself. And if you want to turn that on, you simply go to your actions, go to preferences and turn on the brush cursor and that'll allow you to see where your brush is. Now, what I'm going to do is simply draw a straight line down, put my finger on the screen to get a nice, perfectly straight line. And then I've drawn in the first part of the shadow. I have to then reflect it on this line here too. So I start here, go straight down, put my finger on the screen. And now these two lines, I just need to link up like so. So I'm just drawing a sort of dodgy rectangle and drag my color in and I'll end up with a drop shadow in there where now the lighting's coming this way and we end up with that sort of indented text look. And let's finish off this L now and do exactly the same. So from this corner here down, any sort of area, any sort of line here facing this way has to be shadowed in. So we just draw along here, we drag and drop the color in. And then again, if I zoom out, the L now is completely finished where we've got the two shadowed sides and then we've got the other sides as well, which might be getting a little bit of lighting. And now you just apply that rule to all the different letters. So if I zoom in on the O, I draw a straight line off of this corner here. And we draw a straight line off of this corner here. Again, bring these two together by drawing two lines between the two and drag and drop your color in. And then you end up with one side of the shadow done. Now the only thing with the O that's slightly different, this corner here is fine, we can draw a straight line straight off of that. But we end up with this wall here, obviously we'll go further down, so you might want to start slightly inside the text and draw a straight line down. And then go all the way around, and see this is where this one gets a little bit different from the L that we just drew, and drag and drop the colour in. And now you can see I've made sure that this sort of inside facing wall is completely shadowed and we also keep the same structure for the O in the center here, this wall here of this part of the O. So that one can be a bit confusing, but once you understand the principle that anything, like I said, where which is facing this way has to be completely shadowed and all you've got to do is just box it in. So I'm going to do the same for all of my remaining letters. So I'm going to go off of the O in the exact same fashion I did before. So I've gone inside again, and then I'm just shading in this inner wall, going all the way across, and dragging and dropping my color in. And then we do the same off of the center part of the O. And we go off of that corner. Pop your finger on the screen every single time just to make sure that the angles all stay the same. You're making sure that you're drawing straight down every single time, otherwise it will throw off the perspective of this particular style. Now this one's pretty fun, we've got the blocks inside the K, so I might be able to go all the way straight through to an extent, and then draw a straight line all the way through. And then these walls here, which again are all facing We can then drag and drop our shadowed color into each one, like so. And then we end up with that cool perspective of that. Let's do then this wall here as well. So we go all the way along this one this time. 
and drag and drop the color in. This wall here again, we go straight from that corner down and this corner here straight down as well. And then let's fill in that block and drag and drop the color in, not leaving any gaps. And then finally, I can do the same with these remaining little blocks over here. But because we're doing a clipping mask on the layer, you wanna make sure you don't run into the next square, for example. So I'm just drawing across, drawing in my little shaded areas and the rules apply every single time. And then we drag and drop the color in. And if I zoom out with two fingers now, you can see that the word look has now been done. And we just apply the same logic to the rest of the sentence or the word or the you know company name that you may be doing this in. So let's finish off the D down here. And I can draw in my little triangle here. And let's continue the same on here as well. So if you're enjoying this tutorial, please drop a like down below. It's free, helps the channel out an awful lot as well as also if you're interested in more text style tutorials, I do have a couple of different text styles that's going to be coming up as well as some in a different series that I've got on my channel already. So if you'd like to mess around with different styles of text, they can be super eye-catching and just make people think twice about what it is you've drawn. So I'm just now shading in this line here like so and then dragging and dropping the colour in. And I believe that's everything for the D now. We can move on to the O again. So we can then create these lines straight down. We know about the center part of the O now and how to deal with that. So we can then draw all the way along here and all the way along here too. And we're gonna do the same for this island in the middle. Draw along this line here, just linking up all of our shapes. Every All of our vertical lines need to create shapes and then we simply drag and drop the color in. So now I'm onto the W, we go straight down, and then this whole left side will be filled in. And we've got quite a lot of this different style within the W, so let's just draw a straight line down here. We have to draw a straight line down here too. And again, we've got a part of the inside where we've got to consider, not just like the O, so we draw on the inside of the letter this time, and then come along like this and then link all of those shapes together. And finally, I can get this part done here, drawing in my little triangles every single time. I could draw my straight line down here too. Now, depending on how much text you wrote in here, this could take a little bit longer to do, but once you've nailed it, you can then use this style in the future for anything else you wanna do and just apply the same concept to anything such as like just making text look 3D from the inside like I'm doing or even text 3D from the outside. And then this is the final piece for my particular lettering. I'll just make sure I've not left any gaps and just drag and drop the color in like so. If I pinch out with two fingers, all of my text now has been shadowed accordingly. And maybe let's add in some sort of little cliff edge down here, which will apply the same logic. So if we go to our canvas and our layers, let's go to layers and create a new one. Let's switch back to our text color that we use. So this one here, the second one. And then if we go to our actions again and we go to canvas and we turn on the drawing guide, we can use these lines here to create some sort of like cliff shape here, just to add a little bit extra in the little corner here. And if I zoom in at the bottom here, Let's just draw in a little cliff edge. So we're gonna use the lines and we're gonna draw all the way in. And then every line that you create that goes in the opposite direction, such as this, is gonna be a shaded part. And we just apply the same logic and it's some sort of like pixel style, I guess. And this is very sort of, the second I did this tutorial, I thought maybe we could do some sort of Minecraft aesthetic to it. And that's something you could most definitely do with this style. And I'm just gonna add in one more little edge there. And then I'm gonna drag mine all the way out, straight across the line, like so. So that's my little cliff edge. And then all you do is just drag and drop the color in like that because we went from the edge of the design all the way through. 
I can go to my canvas now and turn off the drawing assist. And then let's switch out to our shadow color. So let's switch to the bottom color in the palette. Let's go to our layers. Let's create a new layer. Let's tap on that layer and make sure it's a clipping mask. And then apply the same logic. Any part of this now that faces that way, we have to create the according shadow. So let's start here, draw all the way down, popping your finger on the screen every time. And again, drawing down like that. And then just linking your shapes up so that you can drag and drop it in. So again, we look at the points of where the lines are facing, and then we draw in our little cliff edge lines and drag and drop the color in. And now I've got two more to do. Let's get this one in as well. Popping my finger on the screen every time just to make sure the lines are nice and straight and that we follow the same aesthetic all the way through. And let's go all the way down here, pop in our finger on the screen for the final one, link that up, drag and drop our color in. And if I pinch out with two fingers and pop my pen on the top of my canvas and go full screen with four, so we end up with this lovely cool 3D look where the text is nice and indented. We've got a little cliff edge here. Potentially you could add something up the top there, maybe just some cubes that just make holes in the ground. And like I said, you can maybe apply a Minecraft aesthetic to this where this is then the dirt and on the top here is grass. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Just a nice quick and easy text tutorial. If you did, drop a like down below, as well as if you'd like some Procreate content every single week, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. As always, be sure to share your designs with me on Instagram and TikTok. Both links are in the description down below. And as always, a huge shout out to my patrons. I'll throw their names up on the screen now. If you'd like to join my Patreon, where you can get access to two extra tutorials every single month, as well as access to our exclusive Facebook group and extra benefits in my Discord server, hit the link in the description down below and show your support over there. And I'll see you in the next one.